Greetings again, friends. Well, I am taking a brief time out. Now, I'm not talking about March Madness and the NCAA tournament for those of you in the United States or who may be following that basketball tournament. The college basketball is very popular with many people. But what I'm talking about are the 10 lessons that I have been discussing. Now, you should pay attention to these because these are the number one lessons that you should learn. These 10 lessons that I am detailing are life lessons that you should be learning and that you will learn if you pay attention. Now, I'm just going to stop here briefly in the middle of these top 10 lessons to give a brief review of what we have covered and a preview of what is to come. Now, if you have been paying attention, oh, you can go back from the beginning and look at each one as I detail them. I detail them in my book also, The Virginia Tech Tragedy and My Personal Tragedy, Lessons to Learn from an Insider and from Scripture. And in this book on page 249, I have this diagram which I call the House of Authority or control. And friend, don't you know it's all about control? You should know it's about control because what we see in the world right now with the control that Russia's trying to have over the Ukraine and forcing their way in what they're doing, we need to pray for those people. The believers in the Ukraine and that are affected in the surrounding countries receiving the refugees and even those believers in Russia that are being impacted by this and, and everything. We just need to pray because this could escalate and get worse for the whole world. But back to these 10 lessons. Okay, so we wouldn't have all the wars and problems uh, that we have. Uh, I, I did that video on why is there war. You should go back and look at that too. But friend, these top 10 lessons, I detailed them uh, in an overview at the very beginning, and this is the review and the preview. So I'm just going to go through this again and explain it quickly. This is the house of control, the house of authorities. You start it with a triangle which represents God, a symbol that has been used to represent the triunity of God, who we understand in the person of Christ. Now, we fear God above all. That is the number one lesson to learn. Fear God above all. And I have a scripture verse that goes with each lesson, and you have to go back and look to go over the scripture verses because this is just a review of that. So, coming again from this diagram, you then have the authorities that are drawn out. The authority of the groundwork here is the Bible, and that is the authority of God that He's given us His word of how we're supposed to live and how we're supposed to learn. Okay, so the house of authorities comes up from the Bible, and it is true in the society as you look out and see that there are three authority structures that are key structures in the world. You have the home or couples, you have you have the government or country when people get together, and then you have the church, which is the spiritual authority. So again, I'm plugging these lessons in, and respect authority is that second lesson. And then you get to that important foundation basement uh, in the couples and encourage marriages, that third lesson. And again, the scriptures are very important summarizing each of these. So go back and look at these videos to see. Then we have four to five foundations, which we talked about how foundations are important. Foundations for anything to be able to be understood. Principles, things in any society in America, the foundations that need to be uh, instituted with our constitution and things here. Lots can be said and learned from that. But the last video that we did is that greatest command, as Jesus said. Uh, he, he told us that the greatest command was to love God and love others. And that's really a summary of all the Ten Commandments. And we know that God so loved the world. Go back and look at what I talked about with love one another in the last video. So that's the preview. Now, again, we're doing this quick preview, preview, and then a re, or the review, and now the preview. The review is what we just did, and then we're previewing what we're going to do. Now, these last lessons might not be quite as understood in your thinking, but the last lessons really get into these 
uh, lessons that I, again, plug into the different uh, authority structures. These love one another, the, the one I just did and the one I'm going to do next, proclaim truth, are both lessons for the church because we're supposed to speak the truth in love. I'll talk more about that next time. So you have proclaim truth as that next focus that I will have. And then we go forward and serve one another. That's coming. Oh, how important that is. You'll you'll want to catch a hold of that. And then one you may not understand as much, but is as important. It's unify diversity. And that's the eighth lesson in the top ten. One that I found to be so important and not understood properly or used in my situation is counseling. And it can be so wrong. So in the ninth lesson, I focus on counsel biblically. And then, of course, the tenth lesson uh, is plugged in. And it, it goes back up in those other lessons. And the tenth lesson is plugged in again for hope in faith. So I will be detailing these in the coming videos. This is just a video to take this brief time out to show you where we have been in the review and where we are going in the preview in the top 10 lessons to learn. Stay tuned. Be sure to watch next time. Thank you for watching this. Be sure to like this video, uh, share it with other people, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be ready for that next lesson as we get into the second five and we focus on proclaiming truth next. Mm -hmm.